Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by the one, the only, Elio Castroneves of Meyer Shank Racing. Um, Elio, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, so what a year it has been for you so far, starting off, uh, capping it off with uh, the Rolex. You got your first Rolex watch this uh, this year with uh, with Wayne Taylor Racing, of course, last several years you and you also, you got your first championship last year uh, in your final year with Team Penske. But what's it like getting uh, your first Rolex with Wayne Taylor racing this year? Wow, thank you for, thanks for having me. No question. You know, starting a season with a big win and especially with the Daytona 24 hours, uh, it, is, uh, it is definitely checking those boxes that you, you know, have it for a long time, especially when, uh, when I moved from IndyCar to a sports car. It, you start setting new goals, and uh, one of the the goals was obviously winning the Daytona 24 Hours and uh, and the championship. So we got that box last year, myself and Ricky Taylor. We carried the momentum to the next year, even that it wasn't with Penske. It was with amazing team, which is uh, Wayne Taylor. And uh, man, it was uh, it was an, a special feeling for sure. Yeah, um, going out and the, you got you kind of have an interesting year of racing planned out for you um you have the six indy car races with meyer shank you also have the the srx races this year as well what's that going to be like uh kind of starting off uh at at indy at the indy road course in uh in may yeah well let's let's jump into srx just a quick one because that would be short <laughs> um uh, and obviously uh, it will be very interesting running. What what uh, really excites me is because we're going to be racing with uh, different uh, uh, drivers from different you know series um, champions, of course, and all of them succeed in their careers, and uh, which is great because you know at the same time as soon as you put the helmet on, there is no friendship. It's just about who wants to beat each other. Uh, but that's the fun part. I wanna I wanna learn a little bit more since I. I, I was joining the sports car. I feel that my driving um, knowledge became, you know, bigger. And it will be even more with driving something completely different. And uh, we're talking about running in the dirt. We're talking about running short ovals with those uh, those cars that uh, probably looks like looks like more like a NASCAR type of car than actually an open wheel car. But I'm excited. I'm excited to try this type of an uh, adventure. Now, talking about, you know, Maya Shank Racing, what an incredible opportunity for me to not only be with a young team with a huge potential, uh, Jack Harvey, which is my going to be my teammate, uh, already show an incredible amount of speed. I guarantee he's going to be a race winner this year. So it is great to have this scenario, you know, combined together. And hopefully, uh, you know, if it's uh, six races this year, uh, could be more. Uh, who, 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 Whatever is going to happen in the future, I feel bright, very bright with an amazing uh, organization and, and amazing guys. So we had our first st- session in Laguna Seca, uh, beginning of the month. And even that everybody knew each other, just that moment, as soon as the engine turns on, the whole engine turns on, it was like everybody knew what exactly they need to do. And, uh, and so the knowledge, the package of knowledge of those uh, mechanics are amazing. I know because I used to compete against and sing from the other side. So it's really, I'm really excited about that. Of course, um, you know, when you show up in Indy, I know you're going to get this question a lot, but be the first time you're not in Team Penske colors. Is it going to be, I know it's, I know you get this a lot, but is it going to be weird not, you know, being there and, and all that? I mean, with a brand new team for the first time, really your career? Look, uh, you spent 21 years in one, one team. Yeah. Obviously, it's uh, it's like, well, okay, um, where do I go? I know the garage. I know the whole system. It's just like your old neighborhood, you know. Uh, you 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 know where you know your neighbors are. <laughs> you know where to go in, in your home and things like that. However, um, I, I I'm not intimidated by that. In fact, Roger was was very uh, in fa- help actually this deal to uh, ma- to turn out to, to becoming a good deal. And, uh, and he's excited too, because uh, he couldn't provide that for me, or we got to a point that we achieve our, our we push each other to the limits. And, um, but in the end now it's, uh, I don't see 
the negative of it. You know, I, I see an incredible potential. It's like, you know, when you have the horse and you just set them free, you know, it's exactly like a fuel right now. I'm ready to go. And, um, but in a good way, because I have experience, I starting all over again, but with, with obviously understanding what I, what I need to have. Plus, you know, Mike Shank Racing uh, or, or Mike did a good, a good deal with uh, sharing the information with Andretti Autosport. Um, so we're going to have some of their engineers working in the car. So the, uh, trust me, it's, it's, it looks, it looks uh, a lot, which it is. However, um, I don't know. I feel that the, uh, I feel is the right place for me right now. Yeah. Okay, so you're also back under for the first time in a long time. You're going to be running Hondas. So what's it been like to, you know, get it, get established with, uh, with Honda again? Well, they did an incredible uh, job last year. They were, no question, the, the, the engine of the few. Um, you know, yes, I know, you know, Chevy, they always work hard. And uh, one year they might be a little bit off. But I tell you what. I feel that we're on the right side and I'm excited about it. I spent three years with Acura, which is the HPD, same, same uh, family. And uh, now going back with them. So I'm excited about that too. So I, I won my last Indy 500 with Honda. So, Hey, maybe it's a karma, you know, we've got to go back and uh, win again <laughs> with them. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, of course you, you're going to start at Indy, but you were supposed to start at Barber and then the flip to Nashville, the race you're running there, of course, you know, street circuits are not nothing new to you. You got actually, uh, got your first street circuit win at, in where I'm based in Detroit. So what's it going to be like running a brand new street circuit in Nashville? Cause I know that, um, from what I'm seeing down there, it's a lot of excitement going into that race. Yeah, I I was asking Mike. He was putting me a lot of in the in the road courses. And Mike, I gotta have one street course. So I, I got I end up having uh, Long Beach and Nashville, which is great. Um, so I'm excited about Nashville. You know, we have a new sponsor, Transcard, which is uh, f- from from Nashville. When you start putting all these things together, it feels like we're we're ready. You know, uh, I wish I would have more races to keep it going. But in the end of the day, I'll take it. Was what we get. Um, and again, uh, it will be our first race after Indianapolis. And, uh, so it will be cool. Um, nobody knows the track. It will be the first one for everyone. And that could help play in a good, in a good way for us. And, um, so I'm excited about that. So, I mean, you look at, um, kind of going back to SRX for a second, I know it's going to only be six races, but what made you decide to do that? You know, Ray Everhan, uh, um, call me and said would you like to do a new experience i'm like yes as soon as it's not even finished i'm like yes <laughs> i want to race everything oh i don't care i want to be driving every car as possible and what made me it made me when i had the experience with irock long time ago in 2002 or, or three and four it was so much fun i'm talking about it was it was so cool understanding a different world, uh, driving a different car. It was awesome. And I said, you know what? I, I, I can see that they want to do the same way and probably better. And, um, and that's it. When I start seeing the, the drivers line up, you know, myself, Tony Kana, um, Bob Labani, Tony Stewart, Michael Mark Martin. Weber, you know, from Formula One, you know, you start, and, and many more uh, um, that I don't have. Another one. Which one? Michael Waltrip. Michael Waltrip, you know, I know Michael for a long time. Uh, he did Dancing with the Stars as well. Did he have that so <laughs> That's right, I forgot about that. But um, it, it, that's my point. You see, you, you have so many mix of uh, personalities, driving styles, success, champions how much fun, you know, can I, I mean, this is going to be so fun. Um, and that's another reason I, I decided to join the uh, SRX, especially it was the first year. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we keep it going, but uh, I'm going to, I guarantee when we put the helmet on, we're going to use those bumps and bumpers and hopefully I can use mine too. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I was going to, I was going to say, are you going to Michael Walter going to do it like a dance off on fit rope? Cause you were both on dancing with the stars. I know I can be him. I definitely know. Okay. I, I saw him doing that. It was okay. He, he, I, I, 
big ten for effort. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so I mean, you know, talking about these, it's like all these different types of tracks. Dirt racing. I think they're going to dirt tracks, short tracks. Um, have you ever been on dirt before? No, the only person I knew very well, which probably gonna gonna call him and ask him questions, is Dennis Danny Lazowski. You know, he's the one that used to uh, and Steve Kenzer, which also also did IROC, which I remember back no, then in the day. Neither did IROC. That's right. But that's it. That's the the most the the only experience I had is is going and watch those guys race and uh, nah, it would be a lot of fun. I and hopefully they have some good coach to tell us what to do and. Here we go. Elio, have you ever thought about NASA getting in a stock car? I did. I did. I still think about it. Don't get me wrong. Um, I don't care if I'm, uh, I'm already in a different side of the, the racing um, because I spent all my life in, in open wheel and sports cars. So maybe it was, it's a different transition from Indy car, sports car to NASCAR. But Roger always told me, no, you, you, you're not going to do it. I asked him many times. No, no, not here. Not here. So... Um, yes, I never had an opportunity to try NASCAR or even test, you know, but you know, I love racing. I don't care what it is. I love racing. And, um, as long as I have that desire, as long as I keep myself obviously fit and be able to compete, I don't want to just be a number. I want to be out there and, and be competitive. If I can do that for as long as I can live, great. But I know one day it's gonna, you know, you, you're gonna have to realize, all right, let's be involved in something else. But as of right now, I still wanna be driving. Hopefully we have an opportunity once. Yeah. All right, Elio, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us and uh, we'll be seeing you at the Indy Road Course and who knows, we may, uh, we may see you a little earlier. I don't know. <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs>